<laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Right, OK, hour number two of an incredible one-day special from Ranger. Uh, there's a little bit of absolutely everything here, so I'm just going to do that kind of, you know... <laughs> Not so trendy break dancing, <laughs> distancing thing, and leave you with the lady herself. <laughs> Groove it in. Smooth moves there, Lovely. hi Derek. Smooth moves. Um, hello and welcome back. It's wonderful to have your company. Our second hour. I can't believe we've already had one hour of this one day special. We've so much to show you. Um, we've got so have a look on the website because obviously we've got the ink pads. We've got alcohol inks. They're coming up tomorrow. We've got the amazing spritzers. We've got so many different. And the thing is, with distress. There's so many techniques. Um, like you'll finish one technique and be like, oh, you can do this, you can do this. We never have enough time even for a one day special, but I'll do my best and stop talking. That'll help. So, your one day special. Now, this was so busy at launch, mainly, I think, because of that little beauty. The brand new uh, colour in the Distress range, and it is absolutely beautiful. Um, what I love about this, it's, and I was saying this earlier, in fact, I'm going to get my little swatch where I've put it. Um, what I was saying is with the blues, or with any colours, and this is something Tim um, was really, really keen to actually to actually uh, tell people that he doesn't just give another colour. He looks at the range and looks where it will fit, where something's missing. So the prize ribbon, this is in between the faded jeans and, oh, I can't remember which one I did. Um, but anyway, um, not the st sapphire, I can't remember. No, there was a faded jeans, that's that one, but then there was, but I can't remember. But anyway, it, it fits in, and you see, the thing is, they are so different. You know, that is such a different blue. It's more, um, it's strong, isn't it? It's a vibrant blue. It's a proper, proper blue, though. You know, it's not too dark. I mean, you could go really, really dark with um, the, the other blue that I'm trying to remember the name of, uh, but this will give you so many different tones. It's absolutely beautiful. And when it wicks out, when you get those colours, let me show you my, my thing give me bored um because when it wicks out like this is what distress does so distress when you spritz it with water it starts to move um and that's the the wicking of the the actual ink so the the water it's super water reactive because it's a distress oxide it means you get that oxidization which gives you that extra layer of color so it's not just the dye in this it's a dye and a pigment that's what you're getting in oxide so it means you do get a different effect with this one that is literally um just the prize ribbon but it looks like you've got kind of grays in there obviously you get the intense blue but then it just it just um goes down into such a beautiful light blue i mean it's absolutely sensational of course you can do so many techniques you can work with your stencils and just water that one is with black soot which is phenomenal i love it with the black soot it just looks so good. That is so powerful. Of course, it's an ink pad, so you can stamp with it. Um, it looks beautiful. You can blend, distress blend gorgeously. You know, you can create the most incredible backgrounds just with blending. Again, working with stencils, and that's on your watercolour, so you've got that um, beautiful texture going on there. And then black cardstock. Distress oxides will work on black. A distress, normal distress, because it's an ink, they won't, well, they work, but you won't be able to see them, you know, they'll just fade in because it's an ink. However, um, the actual oxide, because it's a mix of the ink and the pigment, it means it's not got, um, it's got more, uh, it's not as transparent. Whereas your normal distress is a transparent ink, it's an ink. Whereas your oxide, that pigment gives it more opacity. And that's which, uh, that's what actually allows you to see the, the ink or, or colour on darker card stocks or on craft card. I mean, it looks amazing on craft card. Of course, there's loads you can do with it. Just on its own, I mean, that blue is phenomenal. That's literally just blended the colour itself. Isn't that a beautiful blue? Spritz it with water, just blend it, spritz it with water. Add your micro over the top. I mean, that is just gorgeous with the micro over the top there. So much, I mean, there is so much you can do. It's, it's one of those things that it's been this popular, the whole distress range for a reason. And it's because it just, it's the ink pad that everybody seems to have. And if you haven't found it yet, it's the ink pad that you'll 
absolutely want to put into your um, into your stash. Now, you don't just get the brand new one, obviously. We've also got, and I keep wanting to say quiche, it's our kitsch and flamingo, um, which is beautiful. It's such a gorgeous pink. And that is, again, completely different to the other pinks within the collection. We've also got black soot. Now, black soot is a pure black. A lot of blacks, uh, you will find, if you add water to a dying black, a lot of dying blacks, when they break down, you'll see a purple or a blue in there. Black soot is pure black. So you really do get that, that intensity that it gives you. And of course, you can create backgrounds. I mean, I have been creating so many backgrounds. It's ridiculous. I've had a lovely time. As I said, these are quick backgrounds. These are just backgrounds that I haven't filled the ink in. I haven't stamped over or anything. It's just layering colour. These are using the ink pads um, on today's show, but mainly I wanted to touch on the brand new prize ribbon. So every single one of these has prize ribbon. I mean, look at that. That is delicious. Now, I did say they work beautiful on your craft card. Um, this is your blue ribbon on craft card. And I think you'll agree that looks absolutely gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Uh, it, uh, on craft card, it just looks so interesting. However, your dye ink. Now, you can see your dye inks aren't designed to work amazingly on craft card or on black because it's a dye ink. However, on your craft card, um, the, the your, your wonderful um, keech, <laughs> I can't say that, your keech flamin flamingo, that looks, I know I'm having trouble with my flamingo, um, that looks really pretty actually, and the black looks amazing. I mean, it's a black ink. So at the end of the day, on your, your craft card, it is gonna show. Um, and then you have got within this collection, you've also got a water spritzer essential. You know, you use it all the time. It's one of those that you need multiple water spritzers um, for different techniques, but also because if you're anything like me, you do tend to lose them. We've also got one of your mixatives. Now that is a snow pearl. That is in, um, that's an alcohol ink. So that's in the alcohol ink family. Uh, we will be touching on alcohol inks a lot tomorrow. So that's gonna be tomorrow's journey. I don't know whether to do it at 8am. It might be midday, but we'll have a little see how things go. Now, it is your one day special. Of course, there's loads you can do with it, whether it's backgrounds, whether it's making it run. It, it's just one of those things that just keeps on giving. The brand new prize ribbon is beautiful. If you do want the full collection, 936564, and you are saving nine pounds today, you can get the whole lot for 25 pounds and 15 pence. Now, that's your brand new one day special, but we've also got for you, as part of the brand new range um, from prize, uh, uh, the prize ribbon range, sorry, we've got your beautiful um, embossing glaze. Now, it's called a glaze because it is very, I mean, it gives you a beautiful finish. I mean, that is a proper glazed finish. It's a gorgeous embossing powder, but these are translucent, so you can see through them, which means you can change them. That is literally just stamped and embossed onto white cardstock using a clear embossing ink, which is why you've no color, just the embossing powder. However, if you put the matching ink pad, so, you can, obviously, with your your, dis, your distress, whether it be oxide, whether it be your di normal distress, you can emboss with it. It stays open long enough. So look at that. I mean, that colour is stunning. It's stunning. That is the ink and then the actual matching embossing powder, and it looks phenomenal. Same with that. They look phenomenal. But because it's a transparent, what about... So that is your, um, your beautiful Twisted Citroen. That is Twisted Citroen or under the uh, prize ribbon. And look at the difference. I mean, that's prize ribbon. Look at those two. So those two blended give you that, which looks so effective. Um, keeping the same, um, the same ink, but now putting your weathered wood over the top. And again, completely different. I love doing this because you'll create your own shades. It's really, really interesting. It's an embossing powder, so you can use it for so many different techniques. Obviously, you can just use it as a regular embossing powder, but you might be using it on your... Um, you know, your metal embellishments. Uh, you might be using that on your, um, if you're creating, you know, if you're doing um, ultra thick enameling, you might be using it with that. There's loads of techniques you can be doing. Obviously don't do the, all the layers with that, but do a top layer and it'll look beautiful. Now, 11 pounds and 98 pence, saving four pounds there. 595, 495, your item number.
next, the spritzers. Now, these are really busy in the first hour as well. You've got two different collections with your wonderful spritzers. These are part of your Distress Oxide family, and you have got the brand new prize ribbon in here. You've also got, and it's a lovely collection, is this? You've got um, the beautiful antique linen. Uh, you've got your prize ribbon. You've got your Victorian velvet, and then you've got uh, your spice marigold. Uh, spice dried marigold goodness gracious look at that that is such a gorgeous color i love the the kind of yellow hues with the almost pinky hues in that which oh wait a minute am i showing you the perfect ones or am i no i am doing uh, which looks amazing this is your victorian velvet and i love the different colors that are in there you know you get such a beautiful mix this is the one spritzer you know we i haven't mixed up loads of different colors um and they do look phenomenal and then, of course, our brand new prize ribbon left on its own to dry, mixed with water and then forced to dry with the heat gun or left to dry naturally. And that's on your watercolour cardstock. Absolutely beautiful. Remember, you can still go on black cardstock with these because it's a distress oxide. So you'll get that beautiful look on there. And of course, for backgrounds, they are divine. So many different backgrounds. I mean, look at that background. Is that not just gorgeous? And look at this one. That is so nice, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Um, now, we are approaching half the stock. Wait a minute, which pals, which? Half the stock has gone with this. If you do want to get hold of this one, I'm sorting out my piles, which sounds awful. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you do want to get hold of that, please check your baskets out. £22.46, £8 pounds there. Uh, four six seven five two three. Next. Oh, and these are yummy as well because um, you have got in this one, your first one... Um, is your uh, beautiful sponge sugar. We've then got your speckled egg, which is a divine. And then our quiche flamingo. Quiche, done it again. I'm just going to call it flamingo. A uh, wonderful flamingo. Now, look at that colour. Mm -mm -mm. This is such a lovely collection. I adore this. And look at that. That is the sponge sugar. It's really interesting how different it looks when you're talking about um, spritzers to the ink pad. You know, because they just, they just give you a phenomenal effect. And then just look at this. Oh, doesn't that just look yummy? I, I absolutely, creating backgrounds must be one of my favourite things. It's just such good fun. It just never, ever, ever gets dull. Um, if you like them three, only £17.91, saving £6 there. Nine, seven, six, six, nine, eight. Next, a cheeky bit of mica. So obviously you've got, I don't like saying flat colour, but they aren't shiny colour. So if you want to add a little bit of shimmer and shine, you've got your micas here. So within your micas, um, you have got, first of all, uh, that beautiful pewter, and that's on the black and on the white, which is gorgeous. We've also got um, that beautiful, now which is this one? This is that one. Um, and look at that, that's like a gold hue to it, is that one, um, which is, I presume, your, um, your brass. And then we've got, I might have these wrong way around. That might be bronze. No, that is bronze, I presume, isn't it? I'm terrible with my bronze and my brass, you know. I always get them confused. But they do look absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, brass is more gold, isn't it? Yeah, because sometimes some gold, you say, well, that's a bit brassy, don't you? When actually, yeah. Um, and do you know what? When you look at that, look. That there's no shed. That's actually really very important because a lot of mica, um, the, you get a bit of shedding in it. There isn't any shed in that. That's a big deal. Um, if you do want to get hold of those, 13 pounds, it's a right big deal. You don't want shed in your, your, your micas. 13 pounds and 99 pence, 807007. Now, we've also got for you, and this is a lovely little collection. So, first of all, you have got, and I'm going to open this up for you, you've got your stencil. Now, your stencil, I've cut this in half, um, but you have got four. I mean, you could actually cut it into four. I would, actually. I'd probably cut it into four, truth be known. Um, but you've got four different patterns there which is really handy on one stencil. So you've got your lovely stencil, which is really, really cool. You've also got your misters. Now, your misters are absolutely um, 
they're different from the, the spray bottle that we've got in that it really is a mist. When you, when you actually spray this out, it gives you a really light misting of ink, however, um, of water. You don't just have to fill them with water. I mean, tomorrow we will be doing um, our alcohol inks and I will be putting some alcohol within this, not, you know, not gin. The, um, you know, your, your isopropanol alcohol, but I can't say the word. But I'll be putting that in there so you can use your spritzers for things like that. We've also got uh, your mini ink pads. Now, these are just handy. They're handy for travel. They're handy for, um, you know, just, your, just the size for storage, to be fair. Uh, but these are handy because they're um, your essentials. Like, you've got your black soot in there. You've also got my favourite ink pad of all time, uh, your vintage photo. You've also got... Um, your walnut stain and then you have got your i think it's scatter straw isn't it i'm having a um antique linen sorry your antique li and antique linen's beautiful i don't use that one enough you know and it's absolutely gorgeous and look again just doing backgrounds oh, i love those two together and i tell you what the browns the uh, vintage photo goes so well with any of the blues so that is an especially especially the um the, the sort of three on there, actually, that I showed you before, they are so good with the browns. They look divine. So, yeah, the prize ribbon will work beautifully. Now, if you do want that collection, 955 pounds £22.97. Now, last but by no means least, Distress. So, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Now, these are some more of the Distress Oxide family. Obviously, it's a big collection now. Don't know, is it 35? I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think it's 35 within the collection. These are stunning. So you have got in here, first of all, you've got um, the, I'll start from, um, oh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, we'll start from the, your beautiful weathered wood. Um, I love that colour. It's absolutely divine, is your weathered wood. You've then got the worn lipstick and I'll use that so much. That is one of my go-tos. Twister Citroen, you need that in your life. Um, and then the aged mahogany. Now I don't use that much and I'm gonna, after today, after playing with this, I am absolutely gonna use that more because look at that. Now that is just on white car stock, spritzed with water and left. Look how that wicks. The oxidisation is amazing. This is literally just the ink pad and water. Look at that. So, the, the colour... <laughs> I mean, Kim just ain't believing me. No, really. Um, the what, the colour, it bleeds out the side, it wicks out the side, and then it oxidises. So you get that really beautiful chalky finish. So you can see, you can see the difference, the dye and the pigment there, how it moves. I mean, again, our worn lipstick, beautiful, just beautiful. The colours, look at this though, Twisted Citroen, boom. That, I love that, that's proper nice. So cool is that. And then our beautiful weathered wood. The, oh, I love these. And look at them now. Look at them on here. Because on the, the beautiful um, craft cardstock, I just think they look gorgeous. Look at that. A bit of twist of citron. And that, the age of mahogany, looks so interesting. Yeah, these are lovely, lovely colours. And again, you can just do backgrounds, backgrounds, backgrounds. Now, £25.96 is your price. You are saving £6 on these. What does that work out per ink pad, Arakim? Because I'm no good at my maths. Um, but the beautiful, absolutely... How many? Hmm, £6.49, that's good, actually. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, it is good, actually. I know this because I've literally just ordered some. <laughs> um, now, if you do want to get hold of that, £25.96 is your price, and that is good. And I tell you what, if you're part of Freedom, you're not paying postage either. Um, uh, 721394 is your item number. Now, check the website. As I said, we've got a lot more products. We've got... Um, we got a couple of re-inkers actually with the um, the custom ink pad, which is really cool. We've got, of course, um, the wonderful alcohol inks, which we will be touching on tomorrow. So alcohol ink day is tomorrow. Um, we've just got so many goodies. Um, obviously, we have got um, more of your essentials. So oh, we've got more ink pads there, haven't we? The little ones. Oh no, that's the ones I've just shown you. 
I were like, oh, oh, we've got more and I haven't got them. Um, do have a little look, have a little peruse. Um, if you've got, if you've got any uh, questions, email in. But if you have got uh, pictures of what you've been doing, I'd love to see what you've been creating because it's always really cool. Because I know distress, we've all been into distress for years and years and years. So it's always so nice seeing what you create with them. Okay, let's get cracking. Now, I've put, um, I've put paper down, first of all, because um, when I'm doing a spritzing, I like to put paper underneath because that means I can catch the spray, which means I can create backgrounds rather than wasting it on, you know, well, on any other surface. I like to catch it and then use it. So let's go for the Distress sprays. Now, obviously, we've got a really beautiful colour palette here. There's so many gorgeous colours and there's so many different ways of actually using these it's it's just fabulous thing is with a spray okay so with um and i'll get some i'll get some now the card i'm using this time i'm going to use um i might use a bit of both what's color one side super smooth on the other right distress oxide as you can see the the bottom it's a different colour to the top. That's because it settles. So um, the pigment settles at the bottom. So you have to give it a shake. Now, if you you can hear the ball burning. I hope spinning round. So the ball burning will help it, um, mix it all up and get that beautiful pigment um, into the actual dye. So you want to give it a proper mix. Now, um, if you do this, if you shake it like that, the actual ink travels up and can you see what happens? Can you see that you're getting ink all in the actual cap? So if, and I know Tim does shake them like that, but what he does do, he actually puts a tissue over, so when he's shaking, if it moves up the actual applicator, if there's any extra ink, rather than it going everywhere, he does catch the extra ink. So I know that's something he does do, but to avoid that, just give it a spin. But if you're like me, then you'll, you won't, you'll cheat and you'll end up just shaking it as normal. You do need to shake them because otherwise you won't get um, the, the actual oxide, the, the pigment mixed in. When you're actually storing these if you store them flat and um, laid down but when you're using them store them laid down because then it just it means it's just a bit easier to mix up the the pigment uh, but when you finish using them do use uh, store them stood up just to avoid leaking you know you don't want any bottles leaking so it's going to be easier if they are stood up okay so just just spritzing so the the good thing about this is really quickly you've created a background. You know, within seconds, you have got ink on that surface. So it's quick and it's easy to create a beautiful background. Now, that's just the ink on its own, which is gorgeous. You could leave it on its own. It'd look really pretty. Thing is with a spritz, you're not, um, I was going to say you're not in control. You have got some control over it, obviously, but it's not um, it's not as smooth as if you were if you were blending it. But I love that. I love that beautiful distribution. I love the unevenness. I love the drips. I think they look really effective. Um, it is at the end of the day. It is um, a distress oxide, which means you can add water and it's going to change, it's going to react. Can you see as soon as the water hits it, you can see the oxi ox oxidation. See, have a look. And you can see the white coming through. I, wow! So lovely Debbie, I'm terrible. I, I thought there were only 35. <laughs> She's just emailed in and said it's the 66 colour Leona. Wow, why did I think we're only at 35, Debbie? And maths has never been my strong point. Wow, do you know what? It's funny, it doesn't feel like there's that many colours, does it? Because it's, it doesn't, wow, that really surprised me. It doesn't feel like that. That's Anyway, thank you, Debbie. Wow, really? Um, so look at that now. When the water's been added, oh my gosh, is that not just beautiful? That blue is beautiful that's on your super smooth this is watercolor so again on your watercolor i like that you get different effects now i'm using the spritzer the mister that you do get in the the um one day special if you're going close obviously you're going to get puddles if you lift it off um and you're further away then you'll get more of a 
more of a um, sort of shower, if you will. If you just do little, um, little pumps, then you'll get just little spurts. But if you really go for it, you can see, you'll get proper puddles. So, you know, you can, again, you can be quite specific with your application. And of course, again, it's absolutely beautiful. And I don't think, I mean, on there, there isn't too much different with the, the actual super smooth and your watercolour. But when you start to play, you will find differences. I use both. Now, just leaving it like that is gorgeous because it will give you a really, really interesting, cool background. I'm going to put these to one side for now because let's work on other things and then we'll come back to these. I will pop that one. A cobalt blue. Yeah, I suppose so. Do you know, our Paula's the one with the names for the colours because Paula's, you have to get it right with Paula. It's a thing. It's a proper thing. He's getting your right colour off or else. Honestly, it makes her, it makes her toenails curl if you get the wrong colour with some our Paula. I am terrible. I do this quite, I talk about poor Paula when she's not here. It's really bad because it makes me giggle. If you're watching Miss P, what colour would you say? What blue would you say, Miss P? She's honestly, she's really good. So, Miss P, our, um, our Kim's saying cobalt blue. I'm not saying any because I'm rubbish. I'm rubbish at that game. What about you, Derek? What are you saying? Yeah, it has got a royal, royal feel to it. Lewis, I bet you're good with your colours, aren't you, love? What do you reckon? It's coming in. Well, it's not coming in. <laughs> it's coming in. <laughs> what blue do you reckon? Oh, he's second in, Derek. He's going royal. He's got Hannah. She ain't got a clue blue. <laughs> not a clue blue. <laughs> Uh, okay, now I'm just messing about because I'm playing. Um, this is the, the bit that's left over. This isn't a piece, but I love doing this because it is a piece. It was the bit that's left over, but it becomes a beautiful frame. It becomes whatever you want. This is why I always, always um, catch the, the ink when I'm using it because you can do so much with it. I wasn't meant to be working on this because that isn't a piece. I'll put it away. <laughs> Put it away, Leone. Put it away. I'm actually going to be really not naughty. I'm not going to pinch one of them. I am going to put some card down because I want to carry on spritzing. So that's just spritzing. Um, and it's beautiful because it's easy. And of course, you can create so many different backgrounds. Let's use a couple of bits of paper underneath. So next. Um, however, lots of things you can do. One of the things that I love is obviously um, starting to blend it. So let's, 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 oh gosh, we only try and just calm down. I shouldn't have had the second coffee. Shouldn't have had the second coffee. I'm too excited. Um, so what you can do is obviously blend your colors. Oh, let's do it this way. So if you're blending your colors, I we gonna make a palette again, like we did before, but I'm gonna blend it directly onto cardstock um, because it's, why not, I can do. So if I take my, my beautiful blue again, because I can, it's brand new and it's lush. So I'll take my beautiful blue again, just a few spritz with my blue. Oh, let's do a couple at a time because, um, so a couple of spritz with my blue and then take, um, take my weather, uh, speckled egg on one of them. Again, give it a really good shake. The other one, I will use my dried mar marigold. I want to say, because there's marmalade and marigold, I keep wanting to say the wrong one. Now, this is interesting because I haven't wet this card. So when you look, the, the colour is quite, um, it doesn't blend. I mean, I adore this, you know, but it's not blending. The one I've just used is a speckled egg. Stunning, stunning, stunning. But you can see that it doesn't blend as such. You know, I can see the sort of exactly where the blue's gone. I can see exactly where my speckled egg's gone. I mean, they do sort of blend into each other, but it doesn't sort of smoosh around. Um, same with this one, because I haven't, it's a dry card. So as soon as it hits the card, it, it starts to, it just, it just stays where you've put it, essentially. Um, so with this one, the dry married, oh, it, it's not dried marigold, Leona. Yes, it is. <laughs> so you dried marigold, love, love, love that. Love it. But again, it's just sitting. It's sitting where it is. Now, you can add water to this. If you add water to it, of course, it starts moving. And you get lovely colours coming through because of the oxide. So again, you'll start seeing that lovely kind of movement. 
So that's one way of getting your ink on, which I do love. I think it looks really, I love that. I think it looks really effective. And I like the, I like the sort of, um, the specific little sort of marks on it. I think it looks really beautiful. That one I think looks lovely. And then when I actually dry it, you'll see again how it changes once you dry it. And it is interesting because do with these, dry them, see what they look like. And then if you need to change it, you can. And you can see again how now it's drying, how it's, uh, the oxide comes through. So the whiteness, that chalkiness, that really interesting um, layer that oxides give it. Can you see how that has just, and it looks so different when it's dry. It's so interesting. Just have a look at that. The colors are divine. Just look at that. How beautiful is that color? And it just, it's just so interesting. Oxides are so different from your normal distress ink. So different because it looks chalky, doesn't it? Remember, there's no chalk in these, but it looks really chalky. So you can use them like that or, oh man, look at that blue one now, it's drying. Look at that blue. Oh, it's so nice. When it dries, because it's an oxide, that oxide just looks amazing that is that remember was literally just that brand new color that was just blue ribbon on its own stunning absolutely stunning 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 right so that was on um dry cardstock now this i'm gonna flip because I don't want to waken that ink up. Oh, that were a demo from another one. I don't want to waken that ink when I do my next layer. So that was obviously dry uh, cardstock. However, if you wet your cardstock first, and it doesn't need to be absolutely wet through, but it's interesting. I'm going to wet the. I'm going to wet both sides of that to help flatten it down. So if you wet your cardstock first, obviously when you then spritz your, water, your spritzers on, it's going to move because obviously wet cardstock. Let me spritz both sides to help it sit down. Right. Oh, which colour is this time? Oh, let's go. Let's go flamingo. Let's go flamingo. So cheeky bit of flamingo. Always give them a shake before you use them because, of course, you want to be making sure it's all mixed up. So give them a shake. Look, 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 as soon you can see it, you can see it moving straight away. So you've got your lovely flamingo. I'm then gonna pop the antique linen because antique linen is absolutely stunning. But can you see it moving? So where the water is, it's already moving, which means when I go on with my antique linen, where the water is, it's already moving. It's already blending in together. Where the, what the card was dry, that's when you get those speckles again. But where it was wet, you get that beautiful movement. So straight away, it starts to give you that incredible blend. And that is just so, so pretty. With this one, let me try another couple of colours. I am going to wet it again because it is watercolour, so I can slap as many as much water on that as I want. So with this one, let's do a little bit of sponge sugar. So you're seeing all the gorgeous colours. A little bit of sponge sugar. Shake, shake, shake. I've had, I'm not missing any colour, have I? We didn't have age my... No, we didn't have age mahogany, did we? That was my ink pad. There, look at your sponge sugar. That is so nice. That is such a nice pink. Such... Oh, Victorian velvet. I don't know where my Victorian velvet is. Oh, it's there. There it is. My Victor I knew there was something missing. Right, and then my beautiful Victorian velvet. I mean, that is lovely. And the sponge sugar, that has got a kind of yellow in it, which is beautiful. Because it's got a yellow in it, I'm, I'm changing my mind, I'm using dried marigold. Because it's got a yellow in it, it'll sit so well with your dried marigold. I mean, look at that. The colours together look divine. But then, but then, let's add a little bit of our um, Victorian velvet as well just to see what it does. And again, I mean, the blend, it happens immediately. Oh, I love that. Right, let's dry it. Let's see what happens. Drying it, again, will allow you to see the, the oxide. And it's so interesting. Now, your watercolour cardstock, because it's watercolour, can you see how it's 
and this is the thing, use different um, types of car stock, experiment, because you'll get different results. The watercolour car stock, because obviously it's designed to allow things to move. You know, that's what it wants to do. It wants to allow your, your inks to go and blend beautifully. So, and that's what it does, you know. However, who have we had an email from? And hello there, lovely Anne. Oh, wow. Woo, Anna's got all the sprays apart from the new one, the prize ribbon. Um, yeah, once she starts, she can't leave them alone. And she's learning a lot. Oh, Anne, that's lovely. Um, Anne, if you want to share some photos of some of the lovely things you've been doing, we'd always love to see it. And you can see now, I mean, the difference. Now, this is a difference in cardstock. I mean, different colours, obviously, but can you see? So on your super smooth, the super smooth didn't hold the water the same, but I love it. I adore that. I love the variation. I love the way it's blended. It's gorgeous. Whereas your watercolour cardstock, I haven't dried it all because I got bored. Um, your watercolour cardstock, it's absolutely give you just a full sheet of colour. You know, it's allowed. There's not as much white space. That one, you've got white space. That one, not as much. And that's the difference in the card, which is really important. Now, I'll carry on drying this and then pack up and then... Um, obviously um, get some more demonstrations going on um, but please obviously check the website out have a look at all the goodies uh, but in the meantime what oh, have, we, have we got a photo oh vicky oh it's all about the oxides vicky that's such cool backgrounds I and mean, i love it because vicky's gone in strong with those backgrounds vicky thank you so much indeed and i love it because i can see our lovely little abs on there oh i can see tracy as well um thank you ever so much vicky i really appreciate you sending photos in get your photos in studio at the craftstore.com over to you yeah they're brilliant aren't they do you know the thing about these inks as well is when you spritz them on is you kind of wait and watch it develop as well so you think oh have i done that right and then it kind of surprises you all over the place doesn't it i love it um let's talk to you about the one day special then because uh, lots and lots of you checking out on this one, I'm not surprised. And it's all about the brand new prize ribbon. I love this, actually. I, I really want, because I've seen this a few times now, um, I, I really can't wait for the little explanation of what this is and how it was sort of put together. Um, you've also got the black soot and you've got kitsch. Kitsch is not quiche. Kitch. There's, no, there's no pastry in it. <laughs> it's kitsch. Flamingo. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, you've got your spritzer and you've got your uh, pearl mixative there as well. And that will all become clear uh, as we delve into the, uh, the alcohol side of things uh, tomorrow a little bit more as well. But it is an amazing blue. And it is difficult to talk about the blue and the shade of blue, actually. It's a really difficult one because there are lots of different shades in there. Approaching 40% of the entire day's one day special stock sold out and gone, by the way. It's weird because there are elements of fountain pen blue there are elements of denim blue there are elements i can't say elements now <laughs> of cobalt blue uh that's because i can say kitsch you see can't say elements <laughs> instead but there's lots and lots of different shades of blue and then of course then there's all the interesting reactions um, that you get with that fabulous distress oxide as well it's a lovely lovely bundle to go for all. and remember this is absolutely launched today of the brand new color here at the craft store and a really really handy bundle as well 936564 you got a nice big saving there as well nine pound saving there for you so it's 936564 is the item number then then you've got these fabulous embossing glazes now uh, yeah, I'm not surprised these have been super, super popular uh, because, you know, just using them on their own. Of course, remember, it's the, it's the two new, well, it's the new colour, isn't it, of the prize ribbon, uh, which everyone's after. And the weathered wood, I mean, we've seen it in so many of um, Leone's projects and um, backgrounds as well. It's amazing. Please make sure you check out your baskets on that. You're getting both of those for £11.98. Now, where are we stock-wise there? over 40 percent okay so don't leave that to chance as well because it is the most delicious delicious color and when you use it in conjunction with the ink you've got something there that again almost takes on a new blue as well doesn't it yeah. 
I mean, that is just lovely. With, with the glaze, you kind of go, because look, there's that more sort of denim -y look that it can give you, but then this is just like, it's indescribable almost, isn't it? It's so lush though, isn't it? Yeah. And it's not a dark blue. No. It's, like, it's just so vibrant and It's just the blue you royal. want it to be, isn't it? A royal. It, it is a royal yeah, blue, it isn't is. it? It's royal. It's really different. We, we, we're going through every different shade under the sun, <laughs> but it is. It is. Kim sticking with her cobalt. Well, she Let's see if that lasts the whole 24 <laughs> hours. <laughs> Paula hasn't emailed in yet, has yeah, she? And, and, yeah, until Paula gets involved. Yeah. And, and then, then she'll be like, know. no, you're all wrong. It's this. Yeah. <laughs> and there'll be a new law regarding that shade. 595 495 is your item number. Right, let's get to these sprays then, because uh, these, I mean, they're just so fun and exciting to watch, aren't they? Uh, the different card stocks, the different um, effects that you can get from them. Um, they're amazing. Of course, everyone's after the prize ribbon, um, but this is a really, really lovely combination because antique linen, you've seen how versatile that is as a colour as well. Victorian velvet, which we're we're tinkering around the edges with. We've introduced it just a little bit, haven't we, uh, in our demo so far. We've got a whole day's worth of demos, though, as well, remember. And you've got that lovely dried marigold. And dried marigold is just awesome, isn't it? It it's just gives you... I mean, this is my favourite background. I mean, yeah, you can just see. It's wonderful. And the thing is... The reason why Leone's creating background after background after background is to say, don't think of these as four individual colours because you know there's that lovely synergy, there's that lovely effect that you get by introducing. Um, spray one colour, spritz it with water, dry it, then add another one as well. Just keep playing with it. Introduce that water as well. The effects that you get are amazing. They really are. Um, you're making a £8 saving there. Over half of the stock of that bundle sold out and gone. Um, I'm not surprised. We're going to be seeing some more of it in this hour as well. Uh, it could be, well be the first one of the bundles featuring the brand new prize ribbon that trots its way out of here. Who knows? That's down to you and checking out your baskets, of course. Um, oh, and these are lovely. These have been massively popular as well uh, because you have got your slightly more on the, let's not call it pastel because I think actually with the Tim Holtz sprays and the Tim Holtz inks, th there's never such a thing as pastel, is there? Like, it's just degrees of gorgeousness, really, isn't it? Uh, with this one, you've got the sponge sugar, which, again, just gives you a lovely, lovely... It is like a sort of candy flossy kind of tone, isn't it, really? Uh, the speckled egg, which is just beautiful, really, really... Just a really textural colour. And there, here it is again. It's the Kitsch Flamingo. You've got me at it now. Um, saving £6 on those. Again, over half of the stock of those. Oh, oh, uh, well, uh, maybe I'll reserve my decision then, actually. Well, actually, I did say, I caveated that by saying it's the one that features the new colour. So maybe, who knows, who knows? But that one, really, really lovely. Again, um, was it over half or, or, yeah, over half? It's these savings as well. Get them all in one basket and get them checked out. Um, then we've got the micas as well. These are super, super beautiful, aren't they? Look at the effects you get. Um, and you've got, what are these called? These are brushed pewter. You've got antique bronze. I love the typefaces on these, they're brilliant. Uh, you've got tarnished brass, or brass, up to you. Um, yeah, bra it's got to be brass when I'm with you, isn't it? Got to be, isn't it? I live in Yorkshire, so I'm so confused all the time. Um, on white, on black card, you can see, again, because you've got the spritz, you've just got that really, really lovely texture um, as you spritz them out. Right, please, please, please make sure uh, that you check out your baskets um, because, listen, don't leave it because this is the show, remember, which goes out through the night as well. So anything I'm saying to you right now, stock-wise, who knows what that will be at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning whenever this goes out overnight as well. Right, I've got a little piece of film for you to watch it and I can't remember which one it is. Is it Freedom? Ah, Freedom, yes, you've got to be a Freedom member, haven't you? Because you'll kind of want everything and you'll keep making little orders. Get it all in one basket. Never worry about PMP again for the whole month because you need to be a Freedom member and here's why. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. 
If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hello and welcome back. Now we've had a question um, about the, the different blues. So what we've got here, and this is the swatch I did. Um, so I've used here uh, the blueprint sketch. So that's at that side. Then we've got the brand new prize ribbon and then we've got the faded jeans. Now, um, this has been spritzed and the oxide allowed to come out so you can really see the colours. And I don't know, obviously here in the studio, you can really see the difference. They are completely different blues. Um, and this is the, the big deal. And this is something, um, there is another blue and my brain is not allowing me to remember what it is. It's back of my brain, but I can't bring it forward. Um, someone will email in, I'm sure, because you'll know. Uh, but I know the other blue goes a bit darker still. Um, oh gosh, that'll really irritate me. There is a darker blue, uh, but but this is the thing. This is what Tim does. He doesn't just think I'm going to do another blue. He looks at the palette and this is really important to him. You can tell he really, really um, does try and emphasize this. He doesn't want to just bring you colors you've already got. So in this collection, oh, Chip Sapphire. Yeah, 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 your Chip Sapphire is a, a darker one again. Um, so that's more of a blue-black is your Chip Sapphire, thank you. Um, so with this, it fits in. It fits in the centre there and it just gives you a different shade again and it's it's absolutely beautiful. But yeah, it was very, um, it, it really does want people to know that, you know, that he's not just saying, oh, we need another colour, let's do a blue. He's actually looking in and going, oh, who's that? So, Kim's making people up now, just to be on her side. She's like, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. It was that Andy. Did you... Angie. Angie's saying it, yeah, it does look a bit cobalt to her as well. We're going royal. Paula's going to be the one. Is Paula in tomorrow? I think she is, is she? Paula will be the one. She'll know. She knows all the colours, does Paula. All the posh names. She probably even knows a Latin name. <laughs> um, right then, let's go for it. So, more uh, playing. So, one of my favourite things um, is just squidging those colours together because it just looks absolutely stunning. I'm going to carry on um, with this cardstock underneath because I can. And I'm just going to lay that there and lay that there. You do have to be... This is dried now, so I know I'm not going to pick any other colour up. If I were blending, I wouldn't have these underneath. Um, it's just because I'm doing this. So I'll take my uh, that dried marigold. First of all, I've only got 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to spritz this. I'll just get my other spritzer. Sorry, I keep forgetting to bring this over. So just get my other spritzer. Like so. So I've got that nice and wet now. So I'm going to take my Beautiful. Oh, now I said it doesn't matter having the card. I've literally just proved why you shouldn't do what I'm doing. Can you see some blue coming in? Right, dried marigold, first of all. I'm only meant to be doing it here, but I have spritzed on there as well. Doesn't matter. I'm then going to go with this. I'm going to go with a little bit of our flamingo. Not absolutely avoiding the word. <laughs> Cheeky bit of flamingo over there. Oh, man. Those two are just made together. Do you know what? Let's be brave. Let's put in the new prize ribbon. I like doing this. I like not really caring about the, you know, your your colour your colour charts or your, your North colour theory. I'm not too bothered when it comes to this because I just like seeing what it's going to do. And I think that's what you should do. Just see what it's going to do. It's a bit hard. It doesn't matter. Would I no, I wouldn't practice, practice on scrap ever. Um, I would always, always use good card because if you use rubbish card, you're going to get rubbish results. Never use rubbish card. It won't give you a good result. You won't get a true result. Um, put your two sides together. Peel and look at those backgrounds. This bit, don't want that bit because it, if it looks a bit like that, looks a bit splodgy. If it's a bit splodgy, it's gonna dry quite heavy. Oh, then again, actually, now it's lightning. I don't mind it. 
Yeah, now it's lightening off. I quite like it. Now, what I love about this, can you see when you've peeled them off, you get those lovely sort of circles going on. It almost looks like sky, doesn't it? And look at that. I adore doing that, you know. It just... It's just, yeah, it does look a bit fireworky. I just think that is stunning. It's just such a soft background. They are so usable. You can stamp over them, you can stencil over them. There's so much you can do. And every single time it'll be different. Obviously, when you dry it, it'll be different again because that's when your oxide will really come out. And it's just, look at that blue. See, and I'd, I wouldn't really have used those three together because I'd have thought, oh, that's a bit, you know, I'm going to get a mud. But actually, I love it. I love it. I'm getting a, I'm not scared. Just don't be scared. And it's, if you definitely work on decent card, I've got, I mean, we've just had the happy hour with the card stock. You don't have to pay much money for decent card. You know, work on decent card because if you work on card that is too open and too porous, it's not going to allow you to get the mix and the blends and that you won't get decent results. Um, obviously, experiment. Experiment with what you've got. But if it isn't giving you decent blends, then absolutely blame the cardstock because it probably is. And I love it when we can blame a cardstock. Um, beautiful. I love that because it's, it's easy, it's quick, but every time you can get really cool results. Put it down there. We've got a photo. Um, Oh, lovely. Anne sent a photograph. Um, oh, fabulous. She's been going for it. She's been doing loads and loads of beautiful backgrounds. Has she been die cutting as well? I do believe she has, um, which looks apps. Oh, I love it. And those beautiful bright colours top left are sensational. And thank you so much. I love seeing what you've been doing. It's always so exciting. Please keep those coming in. Um, and thank you very much indeed. Right. Um, please check your baskets out as well. And obviously, if you've got any questions, email in. Right, really quickly, I do want to play with the um, with the embossing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix it up. So what I think I will do, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Vintage Photo first of all, OK? I'm taking Vintage Photo from my mini ink pad and I'm just bringing a bit of blending in. Like this, first of all. Cheeky bit of blending. So working in from the side, always working from the side if you want a smooth blend. Always make sure your mat is dry because if it isn't, um, the moisture will absolutely ruin your blend. This is a dye ink, um, the normal distress ink. So it won't oxide, but it will blend beautiful and um, well, it's just fabulous. Watch your fingers. This is something I do a lot. I put my fingers in. If you put your finger in there, it's water reactive. So if your fingers are a little bit moist or anything, it's going to move the ink and you get fingers like this. So <laughs> cover up your, your card. Oh, I've only five minutes. Don't you just hate it when you run out of time? Right, let's be quick. Let's not blend. Let's just go for it. So no blending. It's got, yeah, just, do you know what? Whatever you do, it looks cool. It's distress. The distress is one of them that it, oh, it's just so forgiving and quite fabulous. So, bit of that. So, that's my vintage photo, one of my favourite colours of all time. It's absolutely beautiful. Onto the vintage photo, we're now going to spritz. So, pop a little bit of water on that. A distress, distress ink is all reactive. So whether it's your normal distress or your distress oxides, it's all water reactive, which means you will always get something cool. And that, I mean, vintage photo is, I love that colour. Let's bring on, it's water now, so let's bring on a little bit of my blue. I mean, that is so nice. With the vintage photo and the, the new um, prize ribbon, that is a match made in heaven. It's sensational. I'm going to bring another bit of water in just to start getting those colours to do something and mix and match up. I'm then going to bring in a little bit of speckled egg because I think that lighter blue is going to be absolutely gorgeous over the top of there. Oh, gosh, that's amazing. That speckled egg over that vintage photo is divine. It's absolutely divine. Now, let's blast it dry. So, blasting it dry because I want to work over the top of it. Now, of course, you can use your stencils, 
Use your stencils over the top, spritz over your stencils, you'll get another effect again. And then, of course, you can print with your stencils. We'll do that tomorrow. And we'll do some more stamping tomorrow. Oh, we've got so much to do. We've only got three hours tomorrow. This is why, I mean, obviously, Tim does the most amazing educational videos. He's so good and he's so knowledgeable. And he will use his really big words about all the components and what it actually does is fabulous. And he's, he, everything he makes just looks superb. So there's loads of education out there. It's, it's so, so cool. And I like that because you're buying a product with confidence that someone's there to help you. Now, when that's there, now watch this because, and I will be quick. So I'm gonna take one of the stencils. I'm gonna go in with my ink and I won't be able to do it. How much time have I got? Two minutes. So I'll just do a few of the little elements from the stencil. And the stencil is, of course, on the show. Now, I'm hoping, but I don't know. Mm, I'm hoping the back is dry enough because I'm going to put embossing powder on. Now, if it isn't dry enough, everything's going to get covered in embossing powder and this will go really wrong. If it is dry enough, yes. If it is dry enough, it's just those bits. I'm being careful just in case, can you see? The bits that I've put the embossing powder on, they're the bits I'm hoping will emboss. Yes, it worked, folks. So make sure your first layer is dry enough. Then your second layer, where you've put the stencil through, that's going to be what we're embossing. I would do it more, but I can do another layer after. And then let's emboss it. Now, remember, this is your beautiful translucent brand new embossing powders. The embossing powders are amazing. And over the same color, these look absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I'm making sure I'm not uh, too close to my car because I'm, I'm uh, terrible at actually burning this. I'm going front top now because it's easier for me. There we go, I like to be able to see. It does give you more, it's a smoother finish if you do it from behind. There we go. There, beautiful. Some of it's a bit, but look at that colour. I'd play with that, it needs a lot of work on it yet, but, but isn't that colour just Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Oh, I just want to, I just want to carry on playing, but we've only got 30 seconds. Um, I tell you what, I've only 30 seconds, but look, look, look. So where I've got that ink there, put a bit more ink. I'll be real quick. And then look, spritz onto that. Put it onto there. Bit of paper. Ba, 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 ba. Boom! You Ray. get a gorgeous print. See you tomorrow morning. 8 a.m. is the next live show on Friday morning. Be there.